Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying trying to blend these leaves that they made to this path. So a couple of trains of thought. First of all, I'd make a duplicate so you'd always have your leaves if you mess up. I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard. I'm going to make it a little bit away. And I'm actually going to make it a little bit smaller. Just a hair smaller than the original. And then I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to go up to effects and I'm going to blend. And I'm going to blend 25 of them. Well, 22 of them. Hit apply. Now go up here and pick new path. And pick on your path. And then blend along full path and rotate all objects. Now it looks messed up because we didn't really have it in the order of the blend. But you can take your very first one and double click on it and rotate your blend. You can take your last one, double click on it and ro rotate your blend. So now you have a blend. Now, like some of the leaves are kind of messed up. They're too close together. So you can always select them all and then put like 17. Well, I'm going the wrong way. Put like 17 blends, hit apply. Now you got less leaf. Now it's still kind of messed up, but you can still rotate this leaf until you change it. And and really the worst case scenario, you could select the whole thing, go up to object and break the blend apart. And then you could rotate just that first one and kind of make the leaves. And you could then ungroup the other ones and take your second one, we'll actually grab the third one, and rotate it a little bit. And then you can always, if they're not exactly on your path, you can always move them. We could have fixed that prior. Uh, you know, you could get them right on your path, or you could extend your path by taking your shape tool and extend your path. Then, of course, you've messed up the other ones, but you can always come back and move your handles. And then what I would do is take that path, double click on it. I don't work with pixels. He works with pixels. I work with points just so I know how many points. We'll make it that green and we'll make it points. Make it, um, let's make it a little bit thicker. Let's make it 10 points. And there you have those leaves on text of path. Now they're still a little bit off, but you can always, because they're separated now, you could always adjust them uh, just minutely to get them on that path. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. And thank you for watching.